So I just finished watching a rant on annoying moviegoers by Chris Stuckman. This is a video response to that, because this is a bunch, or at least a couple of stories, in which I have gone to the movies and just lost my shit. And not just me, people who have been with me as well have just totally flipped out and just been like, you know what, I've had enough. That's just not cool, dude. I very much love film. I respect directors, writers, everything. I find it all just to be completely fascinating. I'm like in awe. Regardless of if the movie is totally shit, if there's like some amount of effort that's been put into the movie, I'm like, I really like what they've done with that camera shot, or that, you know, music that's been set in that scene. It just seems to fit perfectly. So why not enjoy it, and why not respect it for what it is? So the first story I wanted to walk you through was me and a good friend Lyndon from back in the day, back in our high school days, went to go and see this movie called The Wicker Park. I actually don't remember the movie that well now. I do remember parts of it. It was enjoyable. We thought we were going in to see something totally different. The point was we went to go to the movie, and these people up the back of the cinema from the very beginning, now I'm talking from like the trailers, just like Chris Chris's situations in his stories that he was telling in this video, these couple of people just up on the back row decided to just start talking pretty quietly to begin with. You could get over it. It was okay. But then as the movie started, it like just notches up and up and up and up the scales and just kept on going. And I'm like, dude, are those people annoying you up the back? Because I'm getting pretty annoyed, man. This is like half an hour in now, and I'm just like, I want them to really shut up right now. And he was just like, we'll just give it another five more minutes. And I let it go. I was just like, all right, five minutes. That's sweet. You know, hopefully they'll be done within five minutes. They can't possibly carry on conversations throughout a whole movie. They've just paid like 15 bucks just to go and see a freaking movie. That's how much money we have to pay down here in, in Australia, by the way. It's, it's an absolute dear rip-off. It seriously is. Especially with the amount of crap that you have to deal with in cinemas now from other people. And these people just got louder. And louder and louder and louder. I turned to my mate and I'm just like, I think I've had enough, man. I think I've just had enough. And he didn't even respond to me. He got up out of his chair, walked up the aisle, went straight up the back and said, I'm sorry guys, but do you reckon you could keep it down? Totally calm, cool and collected, and just tried to really be civil about this whole situation, right? Which you would see to be quite fair. 15 minutes goes by, and it starts again. I went to go and stand up, and he just like ran up the aisle and just lost his shit. Like, on the spot. Just absolutely lost his shit. I'm pretty sure I just told you, like, 15 minutes ago, just to shut up, man. And you didn't shut up. And now you just... You, you, you've totally, like, pushed me. We're, like, an hour into this movie, dude. And you... What could you possibly be talking about that is better than you spending 15 bucks to go and see this bloody movie? There is, like... No one else in this cinema, by the way. They know that they're annoying us. Why persist? What is the point? What, what kind of, I don't even know what was going through these people's minds. This situation just like rehashed itself in my brain just after watching Chris's video. So excuse all the emotional, all, I'm spitting everywhere. All the emotional distress in my representation of my explanation. Insert nervous laughter here. So anyway, how's this one for a second story? Went to the movies to go and see Dungeons and Dragons. That's right, Dungeons and Dragons. I saw that at the movies when it first came out, and I actually liked it when it first came out. I was not an absolute nerdaholic when it came to knowing anything about Dungeons and Dragons. I just knew that it had dragons in it, and it had a bunch of actors that I actually knew and really liked at the time. I was just like, I was a tiny midget kid person. Yeah. I was a kid. I, I was, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those. I was one of those. Maybe. I could still be one of those. I've been told that many a time. So anyway, I'm going to go and see this movie with like me, my brother, and a couple of other people and so on and so forth. And so I'm at the movies, I'll go go see this movie. I was 12 years old and I'm just like really pumped to see some like more dragon action, right? So they get up to the scene where Ridley and Snails are just like going to steal all the stuff. Pretty much at the start of the movie, right? And... 
the entire crowd of people in the- This theater was like packed. I was a kid. I let it go. I was just like, alright, I can let this go. And then the best bit of the movie later on, as this talking and banter between one another, I don't know, I, I don't know what everyone was saying, it just sounded like a big blur of noises eventually. Anyway, the movie eventually starts approaching the scene when Ridley goes to the maze and, you know, has to do his little da 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 da. You've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. You haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for you. That's when everybody just started talking more than ever. And I don't mean like one person, I mean like the whole damn cinema. Everybody was freaking talking. And I was just sitting there, I, re I couldn't actually hear what was going on. I, I literally, I could not actually hear the dialogue in the movie. There was that much talking happening. And I was like, a, I was a tiny person. What am I going to do? Stand up and be like, everybody just shut up to like two, three hundred people? No, I don't think so. I'd probably get laughed at and I'd become the comic relief of everybody just going, Hey look, there's that small kid and try to tell everyone to shut up. But that's not the part where I completely, like, just totally lost it. I lost it when Ridley actually began to enter the maze. What happened next? That had nothing to do with the audience. The projector itself tilted. Half the freaking screen was missing. It was like... It was torture. This, the, like... The maze scene! I was like a kid, totally in anticipation, waiting for this scene to happen where he's gonna go get the frickin' dragon's eye, and I'm just like... What?! Mind you, my mom had, like, given us permission to go and see this movie on our own while she went to go and see another movie, so I felt so damn privileged to go and see a movie that here in Australia is rated M. So, technically I would have had to have been 15 years old to go and see it, or at least with a parent or adult guardian. In which then, the whole screen just shut off for like five minutes. No joke, the whole thing, they just turned the projector off for like five minutes. And they had an intermission. Came back, we got all of us got refunds. It totally took me out of the, like, the atmosphere of the film. Totally! It just completely ruined most of the movie from that point forward. I was just like, you know, I, I'd lost my headspace. That's just what happened. And that sucked. And I came back, the movie started rolling again, it was all sweet. The maze scene kicked in. Everyone was dead silent through the whole maze scene. They like restarted it all the way from the beginning of like that whole scene when it, when it totally stuffed up. I keep getting hiccups and it's real annoying. I was just like, thank you, thank you so much. No more talking. May scene ended and all of a sudden people started talking again. Yep. They started talking all the way until Ridley... Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, you seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. You haven't seen the movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Blah, blah, blah. That scene was like the scene you just don't... You, you don't talk. You don't. You just... What, man? Come on. Really? That just like... I came out of the cinema... And I started bitching to my mom. And I was just like, everyone was talking. Everybody. Everybody was talking so damn much, it just irritated me to absolute high heaven. And I ended up going to go and see a free movie. That was pretty cool. But on a totally different day. And it was a movie I don't remember actually seeing. Therefore, it's probably something I did not like. Those are just two examples. I have many of them. Many, many, many of them. Here in Australia, people are notorious for talking on phones. I remember when I went to go and see probably one of my last films I went to go and see at the movies, which was ages ago. People were just talking on their phones. People just go in there, they get their mobile phones out, and they're just like, Oh yes, I'm just gonna start texting away, you know, and have the, the high beams on, like on a freaking car, and just go crazy with that shit, you know, because that's what you do, you know, in a cinema, when you're paid to go and see a freaking movie, you just sit there on your damn phone, I'm gonna spend 15 freaking dollars to go and see a movie, I'm not gonna go and see it though, I'm just gonna sit in there and just, you know, time to kill dude, I'm just gonna play on my phone, that's, I'm gonna do that, play some freaking whatever it was that they had back then. And when that happened to me at the cinemas the last time, I honestly felt like I wanted to be Hank Moody in that scene. If that situation ever happens again, I swear to God, I'm going to do this. Baby, 
I'm sorry, but some stupid guy, he takes the phone from me. He freaks out like he's Mel Gibson or something. Forget about it, baby. Forget it, because you know who I am. I don't care if I'm in the movie theater. The, the fact, man. Oh, come on, take it. <laughs> Next time, put it on vibrate, homie. Bravo, Hank. It's exactly what I wanted to do. It's exactly what I still would want to do if that happens ever again. I'm hoping they're supposed to be coming out with some cool little device or something in the, the near future where you actually can't even have a working phone. Like, they have some little machine somewhere in the cinema that makes you lose all reception once you enter the cinema. So, like, in order for you to take a call, use anything that requires internet or anything like that, you have to leave the cinema. I'm pretty... Who calls me now? Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hope you guys are all having a mad day. And peace. Blah, 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 blah.